Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a really quick and fun project with watercolors and we're going to paint a watercolor galaxy. Those are pretty popular right now, um, but everybody's does seem to turn out a little bit different. So if you're interested in learning how to make a quick watercolor galaxy with beautiful colors blending together, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a really quick an easy watercolor galaxy. They're really popular online right now. I'm sure you've seen them on Instagram. I am taking just some clean water and a big round brush. This is a size 10, or sorry, it's a size 14. And I am, I didn't even draw out a line. I'm just kind of making a really large circle with clean water, just swirling my brush around. The paint is going to flow wherever the water is, and this is just in my sketchbook. And you can tilt your page if you want to see exactly where you have the water. Make sure you didn't miss any spots. Now I've got a nice round circle. And I already have my paint mixed up here. That's important to make sure that your paint is ready to go when your circle is nice and wet. Now I'm going to grab the colors. I've got four different mixes here I'm using. Nice sort of blackish gray, a bluish gray, and a purpley color. And I'm just going to make sure I go all the way around and I'm going to leave a little bit of white space on the paper as well. Okay, so now I've dabbed on a whole bunch of color. While it's still wet, I am going to give it a tap. You could tap your paper if it's attached to a board. This is already in my sketchbook. And I'm just letting the color run back and forth. Now depending on how wet your paper is, um, your color may spread more than mine. I'm using the back of a page, so um, this might not run as much as if I use the right side of the watercolor paper. Lastly, what I'm going to do is get my brush clean and it has just damp water on it. And I'm just going to tap with my finger And this kind of creates some back runs. I'm just tilting the paper around. And as you can see, you're getting some really, really cool sort of paler areas. Some of the white paper is reserved and the other colors are mixing together. So I'm just going to leave it like that to dry. Okay, so the galaxy is all nice and dry now. You can see we've got lots of interesting texture, some cool colors mixing together, some lighter and dark spaces, and that is all there is to it. If you want to know a little bit more about the exact colors I used, or even how to add in some white paint to create a look like stars that you could spatter around, check out my full-length online class on Skillshare.com. 
uh, Three Easy Skyscapes, and it's all about watercolor washes and the basics of learning three washes um, that you can use for many, many different types of watercolor painting. And I'll link that down below with a special link where you can get two months free and you'll get access to all of my classes plus thousands of other classes by awesome creative art teachers on Skillshare as well. Here's an example of a starry night sky that I did using the same technique I used for that easy circular galaxy and instead I did the whole page. I added some stars and some silhouetted trees and once again you can get this full length class and project plus two other skyscapes, a blue sky and a sunset in my Skillshare class which is linked down below. Mm -hmm.